Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pine said here answering one of your questions today. And before we get into the question, uh, I've been getting a lot of emails and messages from everybody. I want to thank you so much for that. I want to let you guys all know that I am getting your messages. I am seeing your comments. I am seeing your questions and I am recording videos as fast as I can. I'm getting lots of messages a day. So it's taking me on average two weeks to a month to get back to you, but I am getting back to all your emails. I do answer your messages personally, so it does take me a while to get back to them, especially with my busy actual doctoring schedule. But your questions will be answered, and I went to them as soon as I can. Um, if you have something that's urgent and you want an answer quicker, or you want a very specific answer, it's hard for me. Some of you guys are sending me your whole life story, and it's hard for me to give you really direct, individualized feedback and give you the time it really deserves in a quick video or in a comment box. So if you're looking for something more involved, please do sign up for one of my coaching sessions. I offer these one hour individual coaching sessions that are literally life-changing, pre-med life-changing. And you can find that information on my website. It's premedproductivity.com. Go to the coaching tab and you can fill out the survey there and sign up for a coaching session. Um, if you want more information about a coaching session and you'd like to talk to me more about it, send me an email, we can discuss it. Um, but that's the best way if you want a really thorough um, answer on your particular problem. Today's question comes from a girl who is a high school senior and uh, just applied this past cycle to universities. And she's a California resident and here in California we have great universities, the UC system, and we also have the state schools, much like other schools, right? We have your universities and you have your state universities. Well, her question is, is that she only applied to state schools thinking that she wasn't gonna get in anywhere and she ended up getting into all the state schools and she was wondering if she had shot herself on the foot by not applying to a university and if she'd be at a disadvantage coming from a state university. So I wanted to address her question tonight and the simple answer is that you can get to medical school from any university, any university in the world. And it goes both ways that you can go to a great university that's world renowned and you can put yourself in a bad position to get to medical school or you can go to a school that's not known for anything and you're the only school student there who's interested in medical school and you can go to a great medical school. The difference is, is the work you put in and how you produce, the grades you get, right? All the extracurriculars you're involved in. And the example is that I mentor several students who are at state universities, San Francisco State, Cal State Long Beach, right? All these Cal State schools. And some of them are in excellent positions to go to top five universities in the country Without a doubt, they're gonna to go to any school they wanna to go to. Why? Because they worked hard throughout their time. They knew what they had to do, they executed their plan, and these guys are workers, right? They're passionate about it and they wanna do whatever they have to do to get to medical school. On the flip side, I've worked with students from UCLA, from UC Berkeley, from Stanford, all these students, right, who are at these great universities who should be in a great position to get to medical school, but some of them aren't focused, right? And one student I work with in particular, I love her to death, but she's all over the place and she has difficulty focusing on the task at hand and so it's constantly pulling her off course when she knows she needs to get all a's for a quarter she'll sign up for another club because she thinks that'll enrich her transcript in some other way and i'm trying to tell her we're focusing on your grades right now so why are you enrolling another in another club but she's so unfocused that she does it and so that's one thing that really knocks people down so if you are serious about medicine you need to figure out what areas you're weak in Right, or what areas you have opportunities to shine in, and you need to focus on those and not get spread out elsewhere, the things that aren't gonna help you. The second thing is, is you need to be consistent and persistent throughout the process, because there's so many students, you can be at a great university, but if you're up and down and all over the place, you're not gonna get where you wanna go. So the one advantage that a university does have over a state school is that there's lots more research opportunities. And what's nice about that is if you're not a go-getter, right, then there's opportunities brought right to you. But if you're in a state school, there's plenty of ways you can get research. You can go to these universities right on your off day and say, listen, I'm at the state school. I'd love for some research opportunity. I'm a responsible young person. I'm passionate about medicine. Please let me in your lab and you can get one of those opportunities. You can also sign up for summer research opportunities at any of these other schools. You can also sign up for summer programs all the way across the country. NIH has great programs. So all those things are available to you. The last thing is, is you just don't do research but you find other ways to enrich yourself in a scholarly potential manner to get you prepared for medical school. That's also a possibility. But that's the big difference if people wonder, well, how does a state school affect you getting to medical school versus university? The first major difference is the research opportunities because there's a lot more at university, just how it is, but there's ways to overcome that. 
The second thing is harder to overcome, but again, if you're a go-getter, you can do it. And that's having the connects. So when you're at a major university like Stanford, all these professors, they're all well-known, right? They have direct ties to medical schools, all these things. So you're in a great position to make the connections you need to have that little bit of clout that's going to be maybe the difference in you getting in and not getting in. State schools, on their hand, most of them don't have medical schools attached. They also don't have the same level of professor all the time, and that's a big blanket statement. There are great professors at, at state schools, but they don't have the same well-known professors necessarily, and so that makes it more difficult to make the connections where people can make a phone call on your behalf or get you to sit down and do an informational interview with an admissions person at a school you might want to go to. So it is more difficult because there's not research and because you don't have the connects, but you can overcome that, guys, with your passion, with your hard work, and with your go get itness. right? When you get out there, find opportunities for yourself and make it happen. So that's what I would say. So did she shoot herself in the foot? No, she didn't. However, should she apply to UCs? I guess let me spiral this into a bigger topic. And that's when you guys apply, whether it's to undergrad or to medical school or wherever it might be for residency, apply big, right? Yes, of course, have some safety schools. But if you don't reach for things, you can never get there. And for me, Stanford was a reach, right? It's Stanford University. It's one of the top universities in the country. But I said, you know what? If I don't apply, they can't accept me. And had I not applied, I might not have gotten into Stanford. But I applied, I got in, and that changes my whole future, my whole career. So don't feel like, oh, I might not get in, so I better not apply. Apply, because you never know what might happen. All right, so have an awesome night. Again, if you guys have questions, put it in the comment box right here. If you haven't already, I love to teach, and I'm trying to give you guys all this great information. And these YouTube videos are short. Right, and they're on different topics. If, if you want more sustained training from me, I offer online classes on my website, dominatepremed.com. That is my course website. It's different from my standard website, which is premed productivity. Um, but dominatepremed.com, you will find all kinds of great courses on there. I'm releasing more courses all the time. Right now, my featured course, which you can sign up for, there's a link right now below this in the description, is also one of the comments, is from the bottom of the pre-med pack to Stanford Medical School in 21 days, where I walk you through the three philosophies that really led to a huge change in my life and allowed me to work my way to Stanford Medical School. And I am putting that out there, it's entirely free, it's an hour and a half of great content. The entire course will probably take you a little over two hours to get through, and you'll be very enriched for having taken it. I invite you to check out that class. It's absolutely free to you guys. Um, in the meantime, please subscribe to my channel, let a friend know. I'm out here trying to inform students, and I can only inform students if they know about me. So please spread the word. Thank you guys very much for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you on my next video. Every Monday and Wednesday, uploading a fresh YouTube video to help you be more productive, be more successful, and reach your goals. Thank you.